Guten Tag! My name is Kat Fodovet, and I have the distinct privilege of leading the Secretary's Office of Global Women's Issues at the United States Department of State, an office with the mandate of promoting the integration of gender throughout the U.S. government, foreign policy, and foreign assistance efforts by advancing the status of women and girls around the world. We do so by addressing gender-based violence in all its forms, rigorously pursuing the women, peace, and security agenda, and advocating wherever possible for women's economic empowerment. Our mandate requires a direct reporting line to the Secretary of State to promote the rights and empowerment of women and girls throughout U.S. foreign policy and assistance, and by highlighting the voices of women and girls in all their diversity including disabilities, racial and indigenous, ethnic and gender diverse persons. Last week, I was in Berlin for the G7 Gender Equality Ministerial Meeting. This annual gathering provides an important space for like-minded partners to come together to share successes, discuss ongoing challenges, and make commitments to further gender equity and equality domestically and globally. This year's work focused on creating an accountability mechanism to track progress towards these goals and commitments. It also had a focus on inclusivity and intersectionality, whereby civil society members of the W7 were included throughout much of the efforts and a focus on LGBTQI plus persons was prioritized. We were thrilled to include the US Special Envoy on LGBTQI rights, Jessica Stern, as a part of the delegation. The gathering of the Gender Ministerial also provides a platform for G7 countries to take a public united stand for women and girls in all their diversity through trying times of backlash against women and threats to human rights. In fact, one of the outcomes of last week's meeting was a joint statement condemning Iran's violent crackdown on protesters. The outcome document also expressed our solidarity with the women in Ukraine we have been so impressed and inspired by Germany's recently launched feminist foreign policy agenda, and we look forward to deepening our working relationship with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs on these issues and more. Thank you so much for your time, and thank you for your continued commitment to the advancement of women and girls all around the world.